Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and on this video I want to talk about the iOS update 12.5.4 So this is happening on all devices and for example this is an iPhone 6 and if you thought that the iPhone 6 was never gonna get an update you are wrong because Apple from time to time they have security updates for these old devices So if you go here to settings and uh, general about you're gonna see that this iPhone 6 has the software version 12.5.3 and I thought it was gonna die there because everybody knows that the new operating system is iOS 14.6 so Apple is giving me the opportunity to update to iOS 12.5.4 and this is an old iPhone 6 so why is Apple doing this and I was reading the news and it's a security issue so if you go to this document, they talk about the security content of iOS 12.5.4. So this security update is available for iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, 6 Plus, iPad Air, iPad Mini 2, and I want to show you my iPad. I have this old iPad Mini, and this iPad is going to stay at iOS 9.3.5. So it looks like the security flaw does not affect this iPad. But it does affect the iPad Air, the iPad Mini 2, Mini 3, iPad Touch, sixth generation this was a memory corruption issue and it says processing malicious crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited a memory corruption issue was addressed with improved state management so what we're going to do now is we're just going to do this update and um, the way you do it is you go to settings then you go to general then you're going to click on software update and this is the update iOS 12.5.4 download and install in order to install this update you need to be connected to Wi-Fi and also you need to have enough battery for the update anytime you have the chance to update your iOS you should do it so that's pretty much what makes a difference between iOS and Android all Android devices cannot update to the latest Android version and that's a different with iOS for example right we have this iPhone SE the first edition and this one still is able to update to iOS 14.6 look at this March 31st 2016 on the iPhone 6s that was released on September 2015 you can still get the latest iOS version which is 14.6 now show me an Android device from 2015 that can have Android 11 or the newest Android 12 there's none you know I still have a Galaxy Note that is stuck at Android 7 I think let's see what kind of Android do we have are we gonna get the Android 11 or the Android 12 Android version 7 guys so it's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, four versions old. That's why a lot of people prefer to have an iPhone instead of an Android device. Let's continue with the update and look at that. So we are verifying the update, iOS 12.5.4. So we should have it really soon, guys. Let's wait. And very soon we're going to have the iOS 12.5.4 and a lot of people are going to ask me so what is the change on this ios update well basically the change is just they're just gonna make it more secure so that uh that security flaw does not impact these old phones you know so this ios update 12.5.4 is available for the iphone 5s the iphone 6 the iphone 6 plus the ipad air the ipad mini 2 the ipad mini 3 and the ipod touch the sixth generation so it looks like it's finishing right now and that's it look at this your iphone has been upgraded to ios 12.5.4 but again this is just a patch this is not going to make anything better or nothing it's just a patch security patch so let's double check here uh, general software update and we have ios 12.5.4 your software is up to date now we are safe we can keep using our old devices and by the way this iphone 6 was revolutionary and uh, that's why a lot of people still have it you know all right guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that's the best way you support my channel so i can keep doing videos for you thank you so much and i'll see you on my next video bye